Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Glenapier. Tiny and tall Glenapier pins. There's a lot of words involved here. Um, Tiny and tall Glenapier is an epic point-and-click adventure game based on a Nordic legend. It's also currently on Kickstarter uh, that runs through October 8th. So if you're interested in this, go check it out. It's made in French and English, so let's hop right in to English. New game. Tall. No, Mr. Tiny. It is not acceptable that you lost my hammer, despite the fact I explicitly asked you to put it in its proper place. Well, Mr. Tall, the shop is such a mess, a mother wouldn't find her own veals in here. What do you mean, a mess? All things considered, you might be right, Mr. Tiny. You're hereby temporarily removed from your culver-leaded duties. Congratulations, my dear order and tidiness executive. Your first assignment is to find my hammer. Then you'll clean the place. It is the most shameful mess. Oh, I'm so tiny. Find Mr. Tall's hammer. <clears throat> tiny and Tall is basically a point-and-click adventure game with these awesome-looking hand-painted backgrounds. Um, about two adventure, two people who go on an adventure who are 100% not equipped to go on an adventure. That's kind of how they pitch it on the Kickstarter. That's a closet. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Right click. Get a menu. Look at. It's in the bottom right corner. Talk to and take. Look at closet. Mr. Tall surely keeps items relevant to my quest in that closet. I probably can't. I don't think it talks. Damnation, it's locked. Find Mr. Ty Doll's hall, hammer, and now also unlock the closet. Oh, I think it's in the closet, so that's like a sub thing. What about the sewing tools? This is where we sew the leather scabbards of our products. Not today. Um, took some, just in case. Got myself some leather pieces. All right. What else? What's this? Oh, close the inventory. What's this? Look at... No? That's my quest log. This is probably some kind of journal thing. Okay. That's fine. This is obviously just a demo. Um, and this is chapter one of what's going to probably be a, a chapter-based game. And it's based on a graphic novel. Or a, a webcomic, rather. Not a graphic novel. All right, what's up with the hanging hammer? Oh, the hammer! Must have flown off his hand and got stuck up here! Wow. Or something along those lines. Yeah, it's... I demand you descend at once! It was worth trying. Take you as curses! It's too far away! All right. What else is around? I see nothing up there. That's just a hallway. Anything else that I can activate? Down here looks like nail bag. These are nails. They're pointy. Uh-oh. I was having a hard time identifying what these are, but it's an eye, a mouth, and a hand. They're very well disguised. Talk to the nails. Why would I? Take some nails. I hope these nails will lead me to a hammer. That's pretty fair. Sorry. I hope these nails will lead me to a hammer. Look at the weapons barrel. It's a weapons barrel, but... Curious, this shaft has no business being here. That's surprising. We only put finished weapons in this barrel. Let's take that. I'll put it in this place later on. So now I've got myself leather pieces, some nails, and a shaft. All right. What about the furnace? It looks hot. Can't talk to it. What an amusing idea, but no. Absolutely not. I'd get burned. Hey, tall... What is it? Did I somehow mistakenly give you the impression that this mission wasn't extremely urgent? Oh. Better get going, then. This is almost like an initiative. I'm speechless. Okay, so I can use these... Can I use these items together? In theory. Shaft with nails, shaft with leather, no, nails with... The, okay, so in theory I can use them together, but not at the moment. Can I maybe use the nails to pick the lock on the thing? Because that's how adventure games work. Nails with closet. They're way too hard to be used as picks. Smash it. It's a sturdy closet. I could break the shaft. All right. Uh, let's go. 
I don't see any other interactable elements, so let me just go on out of this room. Oh, that's a water tub. That's not out the room. We cool off very hot things in this water. No, I'm afraid I'd get wet. Can I dip anything in the water? No. No, okay. Can I... Is there anything else I can do? Well, I can ask him for help. I require your assistance. I'm already regretting it, but I'm listening. May I have the closet key, please? Absolutely not. I keep valuable items there. I really do need this key, Mr. Todd. I don't know what else to do. There's no point in asking me again. You will not obtain this key. Will you leave me alone now? No. Get a clue. Interesting. Interesting. That's... Okay. I should have known, Mr. Tiny. I got used to dragging the ballast of your dead weight while keeping this operation afloat. Thankfully, your negligible just stature makes it an easy burden. Now, we are in a forge. Our trade is in the shaping of metals. We melt iron to give it any shape we like. For instance, the shape of a lockpick. Am I being clear enough? Ah, interesting. I get it now, Mr. Tall. That was really funny, actually. That was really funny. <laughs> Basically explained the hint. All right, how about... Some nails with the furnace. That ought to soften them. Now I can use the pliers. Oh, leather pieces with the scorching pliers. Nice. Now I can get that. Very hot. I'll keep them in these pieces of leather. Probably last until I figure out what to do with all of this. Okay, molten nails with the water tub. I can touch them without gloves now. What in heavens do you think you're doing? All right, I probably could have used the shaft on the hammer, and I have could have tried that. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna try that now. Shaft is not long enough. I need to add something to the end. Still doesn't work. Maybe I can find something in the closet. Let's use some lock picks. There's a hook. All right. It's a beautiful steel hook. One of our best creations. This will be useful. Probably. Put them together. Now we got a hook shaft. All right. Let's try not to make it fall. Whoops. Oh, God. Tiny. What have you done? It's Mr. Tall's hammer. If it's as rude as its owner, I'd rather not. There we go. Ah, I finally got you. Hey, Tall. All right, let me give you your hammer. My hammer! You managed to find it! Oh, well, you know, it wasn't that hard, to be honest. I only had to look up, didn't I? Everything else is just a series of true decisions of rudimentary crafting. Happy you decided to trust me with this complex. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I do not care how you accomplish such a pathetically mundane task. We'll now proceed to tidy up this mess we used to call a workshop. This isn't fair! I agree, buddy. Thanks for playing. That's the idea. It's a pretty straightforward point-and-click adventure game. The setting... They didn't get into the setting, which is kind of... Kind of a bummer for a demo, because that's... A, if you watch the video and read the presentation on their website, on the Kickstarter, that's definitely a selling point of this game. It's a really silly kind of setting. Norse gods ta task those they believe to be the best blacksmiths in the world. So oh, wait, wait. Let me just read it to you. Tiny and Tall Glen, Glen Appear is an epic point-and-click adventure game based on a Nordic legend. It tells the story of the creation of Glen Appear, the magic link holding the wolf Fenrir. This link is created from six mythical ingredients. The sinews of a bear, the beard of a woman, the sound of a cat's footfall, the roots of a mountain, the spittle of a bird, and the breath of a fish. The Norse gods tasked those they believe to be the best blacksmiths in the world to collect those ingredients, tiny and tall. But these are appallingly ill-prepared for the quest, as they can't even get along to start with. So that's the, that's the idea, um, which sounds like a really fun idea for a game. And they've got the mechanics of it going, and they got the attitudes and I got the voices for these two weirdos so um, if this looks interesting to you 
you like point and click adventure games, you like fun stories, you like hand painted backgrounds, check it out. Kickstarter ends on October 8th. And uh, regardless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.